are three kinds of people in the world. Those who make it happen. Those who watch it happen. And those who spend their lives asking, what happened? I understand you arrived in Anna this morning. Yes, sir. Well, then let me assure you, you will never get used to the heat and the sand. There really is no escaping it at all. Ghastly stuff, as you can see. Although, around 5 p.m., it does start to cool at this time of year. You can feel it. It's like clockwork. One must simply learn to live with it, unfortunately. <laughs> Nonetheless, here we are. Where did you study? At Oxford. Ah, yes, Oxford. Well, I dare say it's, it's a trifle greener than Cairo. Not as many goats. <laughs> I do apologize for notifying your superiors at such short notice. This situation came about rather suddenly. The timing of your arrival is most fortunate indeed. I appreciate it. This will not be pleasant for you, my dear. However, it will get you out of the ward for a few days. And good experience in the field never goes astray. You will find his medical records in the file. Well, he's German. I thought we were looking for one of our own. We are, my dear. Captain Joseph von Zimmermann of the elite German Uberkanon has been working for us for quite some time. You'll note he does not speak any English. Frightful looking chap, don't be alarmed. Fortunately, he's one of us now. One of our pilots spotted a downed aircraft in the desert about a hundred miles east this morning. He is carrying sensitive information smuggled out of Germany. It is the highest priority that we find him and bring him in. Do, do we know if he's alive? We are not even certain it is our man. It's quite a record, I dare say. Regrettably, he's been responsible for shooting down a number of our lads, making him one of Germany's finest. But such is war.
Scheiße. We tend to send out our grounded pilots on these sorts of rescue operations, keep them occupied until they get back in the air. The captain, whom you will be accompanying, has been briefed. He is a, a rather unorthodox chap. Sure, you'll have plenty of time to ask him that yourself, my dear. That's him? Yes, my dear. Don't be alarmed. Jackson Cole. I would like to meet Eleanor Morgan. She will be accompanying you on your mission. Thought I was going along. Yes, well, we received orders requesting that someone with medical training accompany you. If our man is out there alive. Eleanor here will be more than capable of attending to his medical needs. Great. Eleanor is fluent in German, so she will be acting as your interpreter. Yeah. We were very lucky that she was available. So be a nice chap and take good care of her. You drive. Yes, sir. Captain? Eleanor? Grab those with. Surely you're not serious. Captain? <sighs> Captain! Thank <laughs> you. 
stop it? You know anything about navigating? No, not much. Not much or nothing at all? Nothing. All right, look here. See this? Mm-hmm. That's where we are. See this? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's where they think he is. So we're gonna drive in a straight line, 114 miles that way, north by northeast. You see this compass? That's north by northeast, okay? And we also need to keep track of our speed and we need to watch our hours. So it's 1900 right now. And we're here, okay? At 2000, we work out distance equals speed over time. You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay, that's how we calculate our position. And that's how, that's how we find them. And that's navigating. All right, we watch our compass, we keep track of our speed, and we watch our time. We won't get lost. If we get lost, we run out of water. We run out of water, we die. How do we know our speed? This thing does 25 miles an hour. Is that fast? Yeah, it's pretty fast. Is a mile longer or shorter than a kilometre? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Jesus Christ. You should try and get some sleep, all right? Stop just before sun. Yes, sir. Fly. Hey, my flying has got nothing to do with my drinking. Ugh. Give me that before you kill somebody. Well, be careful, it's loaded. Oh, thank you very much, Captain, for pointing out the blooming obvious. I'm driving. It doesn't count if you're sober. Bastard! That was a nice shot. Take yourself so seriously, Oxford.
Captain? Uh, Captain? Oh, Captain, my Captain. Hey, Eleanor. Run! The other way! Keep one. Just in case you see a sitting duck you can pick off on the way back. Well, will it explode? Uh, they usually do. Oh, God, well, we can't just leave it. No, no, and the slightest vibration is going to trigger it. We are going to have to defuse it. And that is a two man job. Well, I'm not a bomb expert. <laughs> Don't worry. Neither am I. Oh, God. Please tell me you know what you're doing. Uh, I've seen a bomb like this once before. Once? Once was enough. God defusing it. Ended up legless. Oh my god. Don't worry. Supposedly, there's instructions on the inside that tell us how to disarm it. Can we not use the term disarm, please? We're gonna need to crack it open. Give me the pliers. Probably just like operating on a patient, right? You know, the only difference here is you make a mistake, the patient doesn't die. You do. Grip on it. Nice and tight. Yeah. Firm. Just like that. Here we go. liquid container. Two. Release the cap. Three. Drain liquid. Oh. 
<laughs> Scotch bomb. What the hell is wrong with you? Have you been out here so bloody long you've got sand between your ears? God! There's a man lying out there, somewhere, possibly dying, and you're buggerizing around thinking about only yourself and your addiction. God, you are nothing but a washed up drunk. I just hope we're not two minutes too late to save him. Because it's you who's going to be looking back at this time that you've wasted that could have been better spent saving a life rather than drinking it away! You know whose life it is we're out here supposedly saving? Yes. Do you? Yes. Do you? Yes! Do you really? Josef von Zimmerman? Captain Josef von Zimmerman, the Spadale. Germany's top ace. You heard of him? Well? Well, did you hear that Captain Josef von Zimmermann has single-handedly shot down 27 Allied planes and has 23 confirmed kills? And did you hear that one of those 23 confirmed kills was my brother? Yeah? Well, how many of you killed? Sorry. Yeah. So I'm sorry if I'm not in any rush to find him. I didn't know. I know you didn't know. How's it been? Six months. Older brother? Younger. He shouldn't have been out here. Ace? Go boast. Were you close? Close as brothers are. You know, just because Von Zimmerman's switch hit and batting from both sides doesn't change anything. He doesn't deserve to live. You, you're not thinking about. You're not thinking you're gonna kill him. I've seen so many men die in hospitals. I guess we're just simply taught to care. But I don't see anyone as good or bad. I just see them as men. Brothers. With children. Families. We just do our best to aid them. Is this why you were grounded? Yeah. Come on. Shut. I crashed too many planes. What? I crashed too many planes. What do you mean you crashed too many planes? I mean, pilots crash all the time. Yeah. Not when they're drunk. All right, well, well how many are we talking? Enough to get me grounded. Why do you do it? What, drink? Fly. I don't know. I guess it's that thing Da Vinci said, you know? Once you've tasted flight, you'll forever walk the earth with your eyes skyward, because 
There you've been, there you will always long to return. That's beautiful. I've never heard anything like that. Ah, oh, come on, Oxford. Thought you were educated. <laughs> I am, thank you very much. I know who Da Vinci is. Oh, that's good. What about you? Educated? No. No. Nope. I left school when I was 13. Injury ended my baseball career, so... The military was all that was left, really. If it wasn't for flying. I don't know what I'd do. Do you think it has a future? <laughs> Pilots don't think much about their future. Yeah, I guess not many of us do these days. Do you? Me? Oh, I don't know. I just like helping people. At least what you do is exciting. <laughs> yeah, well, the girls love it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, come on. You think we just fly up there risking our lives every day for fun? Huh? No. No, 99% of us are just pilots to get the girls. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you're in the 99%, are you? Maybe. Uh huh. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm a 1%. Oh, wow. Well, if you figure that out, perhaps you'll let me know. down to the boys in the western front. Those scotch bombs. After a mission, whoever of us was left would drop one down to the boys in the trenches. It became kind of a tradition. You know, sort of a good luck thing, let those boys know we were thinking about them. We'd fly back to base every night, get drunk, sleep in a bed if we want. Those boys down there, they didn't have that. They were just in those sewers, fighting day in and day out. So those scotch bombs became a way for us pilots to recognize that you know, and lay away some of the guilt, I guess. They would love it. You could hear the cheers sometimes after we dropped. It certainly helped keep the spirits up. Is that an American attempt at humor? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Keeping their spirits up? Oh, come on. Even you got to admit that was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. There you go. That could be funny. Hey, you know, I've never seen a woman handle a pistol as good as you. How the hell did you learn to shoot? My father. He was a gunman. 
Are you still around? Dead. That's why I hate guns. Yours? Yeah, he's dead too. That's why I love flying. Do you have a kind? Nah. He was a drunk. That's 114 miles according to your calculations. Mark it. Hey. Nah, still too hot. We're gonna have to wait till the heat A's clears. Get a little closer. Something out there. It's too hard to make out. Go no away. Sure doesn't look like much of an aircraft down there if it is. 
Doesn't look like anybody could have survived. You sure? I've crashed enough airplanes to know. I just don't want to get down there and find out it's nothing. We have to look. Get your gear ready while we still got light. I'll be damned. Watch yourself. Yes, sir. Stay behind me. Just stay behind me. Yes, sir. Can you see anything? Not yet. That's him. Wait a minute. Dead. I don't know. Put them in the gun! Wait, wait, drop it! Oh, no. Drop the gun! Oh, no. Stop! All right! All right! All right! All right! Los! Ich kann Deutsch! Die andere auch! Los! Los, runter! Mach! What's he saying? Los, runter! The other! Your pistol. Los!
als Maul. Wir müssen unbedingt anhalten. Du sollst dein Maul halten. Sie werden es nicht schaffen. Ich hole meine Sachen. Ja? Du bleibst im Wagen. Keine Bewegung. Fass nur meinen Whisky nicht an. Los, rüber. Los! Ziehen Sie die Hose aus. Runter damit. Trinken Sie das langsam. Hast du Streichhölzer? Hier drin. Dein Deutsch ist recht gut. Wer bist du? Ich bin hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. Erinnern Sie sich, was passiert ist? Wie sind Sie verunglückt? Wer ist der Name? Wissen Sie, wo Sie sind? Es reicht! Ich muss mir Ihren Kopf anschauen. Mein Kopf ist in Ordnung. Der von deinem Freund war weniger. Wer war er? Ein Pilot. Er war Captain Jackson Cove, Amerikaner. Ein erster Abschluss am Boden. <lacht> das ist eine Schande, dass ich bisher keine Frau abgeschossen habe. Gibt es dafür Punkte? Jeder Abschluss zählt. Ich glaube, ja. Ich sprach nicht darüber. Und sein Bruder. Was ist passiert? Sie haben ihn abgeschossen. <lacht> Sonst noch etwas, das ich sich erinnern? Kümmere dich um mein Bein.
hate Egypt. Du bleibst im Wagen. Was macht dir Bein? Es schmerzt. Kein Ton. Ich will keinen Ton mehr hören. Sie sehen besser aus. Bleib im Wagen. Schon gut. in Bewegung bleiben. Josef! Lass ihn sagen. Weg mit der Tasche.
way has to win them. Woher kennst du meinen Namen? Woher weißt du meinen Namen? Ich weiß ihn noch nicht mal. Ich weiß nicht, wie ich heiße. Woher kennst du meinen Namen? Ich weiß, wer sie sind. Du weißt nichts. Sie müssen mir vertrauen. Ich will Ihnen helfen. Es reicht. Sie sind ein britischer Spion. Jetzt reicht's! Sie arbeiten für die Engländer. Sie transportieren Informationen, die sie aus Berlin geschmuggelt haben. Sie waren unterwegs nach Kairo und wurden aus Vermiss gemeldet. Wir sollen die Informationen uns zu finden. Sie sind Hauptmann Josef von Zimmer. Warum wurde eine Frau geschickt? Ich bin Krankenschwester. Ich bin hier, um mich und Sie zu kümmern, falls Sie verletzt sind. Ich glaube, Sie haben einen Teil Ihrer Erinnerung verloren. Nein, ich bin kein Spion. Ich bin deutscher Offizier. Nicht! Warten Sie! Warten Sie, bitte! Haben Sie eine Zigarre bei sich? Die Informationen ist in einer Zigarre. Ich schwöre es. Ich schwöre. Die Informationen sollen in einer Zigarre sein. So wie die hier. Ich bin kein Verräter. Sie wissen nicht, wer Sie sind. Aufmachen. Und jetzt soll ich diese schöne Zigarre opfern. Aufmachen. Aufmachen! Aufmachen! Wenn du Unrecht hast, lege ich dich um. Habe ich nicht.
the storm, huh, little man? Better up. 
Said we needed wings to fly, huh, little man? Schon. Kann ich an Müll jetzt komm schon? German engineering, huh, little man? Who knows?
on now. Here we go. Here we go. Come on.
nothing also. Thor! Stay down! He's got a clean shot at you! I'm all right! We'll see about that. What are you shooting at? Ich hatte einen Kamerade. Du kennst doch den Trauermarsch mit der Fallen der Soldaten. Sind Sie bereit zu fallen, Josef? Ich werde niemals fallen. Ich kämpfe bis zum letzten Blutstropfen. Bis zum letzten Tropfen Benzin. Bis zu meinem letzten Herzschlag. Niemals! Can you free yourself? I need time! You don't have any! Eleanor, stay down! Stay down! Come raus! Come raus! Ich hab dich! Ich hab gesagt, dass ich dich umbringe. Boxford! Ich hab's dir gesagt! Eleanor! Eleanor! Say hello to your brother in Hölle. Sides. Oh, come on. Nine. Nine.
Erst wenn ich sage, es ist vorbei, dann ist es vorbei. Me, Eleanor, stay with me now. Who do you signal for? Nor, who is the fire for? <coughs> Joseph, <coughs> sie kommen. Sie werden das Verräter sterben. Give me that uniform. That uniform. He wants your clothes. Do as he says. Los, Marshal. That uniform is over. They're coming. Who? The Germans. Tell them it's not too late. Tell them we can still get them to Cairo. I thought we were on the same team, for God's sake. Tell them. I have. Tell them again. Ich habe versagt. Die nicht. Die haben den Befehl, sie zu töten. Bin kein Verräter. Sie werden erschossen. That only fall! It's not too late! Come on! Is this too spanked? Ich würde niemals mein Land verraten. <laughs> he says he'll never betray his country. Which one? Yes!
one single seater. <coughs> Looks like he's not planning on taking back any passengers. Wo sind die Informationen? Sie werden in der Wüste sterben, wie es beschlossen wurde. Vaterlandsverräter! Don't get out. I wasn't planning on it. I gather you're recovering well. 
Yeah, I'm doing okay. That bunker you destroyed was a strategic installation being prepared for aerial assaults on Cairo. The fueling station they constructed put German aircraft within easy reach of our forces here. More importantly, the information you discovered was of extreme value. Was it, no? In fact, it was. It was a detailed list identifying all German operatives working across Europe. I understand you may have actually known one of them, Eleanor Morgan. Oxford? Born Marguerite Alma Jaeger in Germany in 1889. She had been sent to Cairo specifically to intercept and substitute the information that Captain von Zimmermann was carrying, most likely when he came in for medical treatment. Quite a clever plan, when you think about it. Of course, it all changed when we sent you out there. Your efforts have been noted in my reports. I have made commendations for you. Excuse me, sir. Yes, yes, of course, sir. Carry on. Is that more comfortable, Captain? Yeah, thanks. I trust our fine medical staff are looking after you well. We need you in tip-top condition as soon as possible. Headquarters have reinstated you to active flying duty. Recover well, Captain. Yes, sir. Very good. German, do you? No, sir. Perfect. 